after I got these Vortec heads. These things have had a lot of shit done to them. They look kind of crusty. It's because they've been used, obviously. And what these are are GM performance over the counter Vortec heads or service replacement Vortec heads whatever you want to call them these are different than the ones you find like at the, the bone yard like off pickup trucks and shit these are thicker for one thing a lot thicker you pick one of these up and pick up a stock Vortec head. There's probably literally a 10 pound weight difference between the two. So these don't crack. You have to really be fucking some shit up to make one of these crack. And these are well equipped. You have 716 screw in studs, manly raised guide plates. Got your ISKI 1.560 diameter, 2 inch installed height. Uh, 245 pounds at 2 inch and 600 pounds at 1.30 so they're set up for about 700 lift so they got a 2 inch installed height these valves are 250 long. They're converted to perimeter style valve cover hold downs. They're bowl ported. They have 205, 160 valves in them for you. Ferreira. These are actually a pair of older Berinsky cast heads. These are off an asphalt modified circle track car. They're pretty fucking hardcore. There's a lot of work done to these things. A lot of work. They're milled considerably. The intake valves are above the deck surface. They're milled down to, I think, either 54 or 56 cc chambers. You get 12 to 1 compression with flat tops on a 355 with these heads. Small chambers. These heads are trippy too. They cut the intake face. So you don't have to mill the intake. But the whole, there's a ledge on a stock Vortec head right here. Goes all the way across here. And it's been milled off. So the face of this intake, the intake face had about, I believe, 50,000 taken off of it. And for some reason, it looks like the the valve cover rail has also been milled down a little 
little bit. So they could almost pass for old style heads at a glance in the car. looking at if you're looking for center bolt valve covers and shit there's a lot of work done to these things person whoever the guy that originally paid for them spent a shitload of money and fucking valve springs alone are Four hundred and fifty to five hundred dollars a set, depending on who you get them from. Those titanium retainers and those are three hundred plus dollars. And you got your ten degree isky fucking locks. Those are hundred dollars. There's fucking thousand dollars in the damn valve springs and shit. They must be pretty relaxed on the rules these days. Seems that anything goes on the cam with these. I believe they gotta run a cast iron head. But it seems like anything, any cam you can get in the engine is allowed. I think this one was running at about 680 lift. Solid roller. Turning 8,000 plus RPM lap after lap. A 358 small block Chevy. I believe it was a... 3.50 stroke with a 3.040 bore. The little circle track engines are bad little bastards. They have some rules. Different tracks have different rules. Different sanctioning bodies have different rules, but some of them are pretty wide open. Some of them are tighter than others. Seems like go down south and the rules loosen up. But these came from down south, so they're pretty relaxed on the rules down there, evidently. These little engines make some power. Go watch some asphalt modified circle track cars actually run and things are screaming bad little motherfuckers but person could sink three thousand dollars in a pair of heads like this by the time you buy the fucking expensive valve train and pay Brandy Brzezinski to set them up Guarantee you they had three thousand dollars in these fucking things from a few years back. I got a hell of a deal on them though. I got a a death sale deal. The old guy that ran the modifieds passed away, and they sold off all his shit. So. I got them for a song. I hate to get shit like that, but somebody's going to get it. These heads will support some power. They flow 270 plus CFM. They got a big Super Victor intake to match. Some good shit. It's coming up on a future build collecting parts for probably put them on a 327 and gathering up there they are the monster vortex heads